Today I'm going to talk about FF Split. This is an update video to the original video I put out a year ago. And this is for version 0 0.7.0 .0, test build 25. Uh, so this program, if you don't know, it records your desktop uh, and so you can record games or tutorials or whatever you want to do. You can stream to various services and I'll get into that later. Um, up right now is the website. Uh, you just click the download link. You can opt in for test builds if you just want to if you want to be a tester for them and stuff. And so let's just get right into it here. I'm gonna bring up FF Split. I'm gonna edit this real fast so all you see is FF Split. So here's the program. You can see here what you're seeing here in the middle of the inception thing going on. And then you can have a canvas layer and then it tells you your various information about your stream going on. You can adjust your volumes and stuff like that. And there's some quick links down here to access certain things. You also have the standard file menu at the top to access basically the same stuff plus some. Uh, you do have a indicator that you're live and that the current broadcast is local. I am not streaming. So let's start here at the beginning. Um, I'm not sure what import presentation is or any of that. You can check logging I guess if you want. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and go into options. And so here's where you're going to configure all of your basic like setup options. And so to start off with you can create like a, a profile for a specific stream and set your defaults. So if I add one here, which ought, you know it just takes you to the other tabs too. And you, you can change your stuff, so I'm gonna cancel that real fast. Um you can uh, designate so this area here, like I, I, I created a profile that says record desktop, so this isn't a streaming piece, but then you can add one, which auto takes you to, it just automatically takes you to one of these tabs. Um, it's also useful to make sure that you name it appropriately if you have multiple, so if you do different things. And of course, links to other stuff, it's not really necessary here. Um, so the output, so I named the output right record underscore desktop because I'm recording my desktop right now. And here at the output type, right now it's set to local recording. But as you can see, you can go to Twitch, Hitbox, YouTube, Ustream, blah 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 blah. All those other ones. And if you were to, for instance, do Twitch, you can select what server you're gonna do. I'm West Coast. Can connect with Twitch, which is a new feature. I didn't know I had that. And then, or you can do everything manually. Enter your stream key, enter your channel name, and go ahead and go through there. And that's really about it. I'm gonna go back to local. So the encoder, you can change what bit rate you want. I'm not entirely sure with the finesse with these. Um, mine's just set to variable right now. You can do a custom resolution, you can set your frame rate, you can change your video bit rate, and your quality balance. They have a recommendation down here for depending on the type of game that you're doing. There's some advanced options, I haven't really messed with that. Audio, you know, AAC and MP3. You can also change the bit rate for that. You can do stereo or mono, more unlikely you do stereo, I don't know why you'd really do mono. Uh, the next tab is capture, so the important one with this is to ensure that uh, your recording device, that your microphone that you're using is selected so that people will actually hear you. Uh, you can actually do a, a push to talk function as well, and then you there's a shortcut key for that that you would select so you can actually you push it to talk, let go, and then you, when you do speak, uh, no, you know, the person, no, no audience will hear you. 
that's really about all you need to know. So here's the hotkeys. The thing to know about this is you can you can double click one. So if I click, I have a shortcut to start a, a stream. Double click it, and then you you just push whatever button you wish to do it. And or you can hit the bind key and it goes through the thing. You can clear them all if you want to. Under miscellaneous, uh, the one thing I notice is, right, there's a recommendation to disable Windows arrow, you know, the clear effects that you see. But I notice that you can't actually click that. Now in the previous version you could select that and it would actually do it would actually disable arrow, but for whatever reason in this one it's not working. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. So that's basically uh, the option menu. And I think primarily what we're going to deal with is down here at the bottom. Uh, you can access various things through the file menu system if you wish. I'm not really a fan of dealing with that. It feels more natural just to use the stuff at the bottom. So the first one here is the canvas, right? So if you're streaming and say you need to take a little break, um, you'll see people where they'll, they'll switch to just a, a picture or something saying that, hey, I'm on break. Uh, well, so that's what this canvas is for. Um, well, you know, so the canvas, right? So this is the default canvas, the initial one where I'm showing you, you know, right now I'm showing you the FF split. So I can create a new one here and it tells you please add a new layer at the bottom. So down here you gotta add a new layer. So we go new and what I'm gonna do, I don't want the screen, right? This is for like if I'm taking a break. So I, I pre-created just a really simple image. So I'm gonna say it's an image. I'm gonna browse to where the image is, which is on my desktop. I'm going to select it, boom, there's my image, I'm going to say add the layer. So now I'm on this canvas, my break canvas, and I can go ahead and switch back to FF split. The other thing that you can do is you can right click it and you can, you can say set a hotkey. So I want this one to be divide, and my other canvas I want to be multiply. So now, if I hit the divide, it goes back to FF split. If I hit multiply, it goes to my break screen. And I can switch between those. So that can be pretty handy for you. Uh, so the next sec section is layers. So this is where you would. Um, if you, you know, if you had a, a webcam, right, had a video capture device, I don't have one at the moment, so it's not listed. Uh, you can add just simple text. You can add, uh, so you'll see lots of people out there with, uh, you know, their name across the top and stuff at the bottom. Uh, so you can, once again, I'll browse to that test image. Right. So now I can move this image around the screen wherever I wish to put it. So if it was a webcam, right, I can scrunch it over there. If it was, woo, if it was one of those name plates at the top, I can, you know, put it up there. Of course, you gotta size it appropriately. And then you can just you say add layer and then it's always there. You can move it around. Oh, you, you can resize it here. Put it off to the side. And the other th okay, so the other thing to note, which is pretty important like if you're doing what I'm doing right now. Um, go into this one, edit it. So 
when I'm when the layer type is a screen, you can show the mouse cursor if you want. I'd, Im <clears throat> I'd imagine you'd want to, depending on your situation. You can capture layered uh, layered windows. Oops, I'll highlight that again so you can kind of maybe not. So this option will can't capture any transparent windows if you have a transparent window. And then this one, Capture is Regioned. So this is if I can I can go ahead and I can bring in, right, I can bring in Chrome because it's within the region. And this is also imperative if, for instance, I went to Options, right? So that allowed me to see the options. If that was turned off, then I wouldn't be able to see the options right here. And you can adjust you know, the transparency stuff, and man, you know, manually you can adjust how the window, how the window is, if you if you're if you want on the fly. And that's really about it. It's all about you know all about layering and. Uh, adding the stream stuff is really simple. I haven't actually done it, but it looks to be pretty simple. Uh, you know, I might do a video here in the future outlining that. So then what I think we'll do now is I will go ahead and we'll do a test. Oh, I forgot captured windows. Um, here is where you would select I haven't figured out how to on the fly do this. In the older version, right, you could click on you could click on another window and it would auto go to that window, it auto capture that window, and I'm not sure how I'm not sure if this version has that capability. I haven't been able to find that at all. I didn't research it either. Um, but here you, you select which window you wanna which window you wanna record. So right now we're gonna go over to Robocraft and right now the window is minimized so you're not gonna see it so I'll go ahead and pop it up and okay so that was kinda weird uh, FF split kept quitting on me whenever I wanted to switch to Robocraft and I have a feeling it was probably my graphics settings so I'm just gonna take it down to normal and uh, hopefully that'll fix it here. Uh, I did want to show you one thing I don't think I covered here, uh, the open client area. So that's so either you can capture just the the gameplay or whatever without the border and if it's unchecked then it will include a border. So let's go ahead and let's go back into Robocraft pop it up here so while the window is minimized you don't see it so all right so let's get some gameplay and see how this thing how, how well it records hopefully we can get into a game pretty fairly quick all right here we go I've been uh, I've been playing with some friends and I've I've downgraded my downgraded my robot so I could be down at their level so that's why I have uh, I think I have tier 3 tier 3 SMGs at least in the back maybe and then my armors I have the orange armor tier 4 or 5 I can't remember if you haven't played uh, Robocraft you probably should it's free on Steam I'm enjoying it. So hopefully the graphics are working okay. Oh crap. Let's go ahead run off of here. Uh, well that was short-lived. 
Oh, the plasma. The plasma guns are horrible. They are pretty don dominant if if someone's pretty accurate with them. Got some crazy robots. But anyway, I hope uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully this works out for you. I've kind of noticed that it's the, the the graphics quality isn't as good um, as what you would see on your screen, and I don't know if that's just my monitor. I kind of have a low lower res monitor. It's not uh, it's not HD. So um, well, hopefully it works out. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.